Thailand. Indonesian time and Taiwan time, we have only one hour time differentiation between these two countries, so no problem. It's not too significant between us about time. Uh, my name is Pandu Purwandaru, and you can call me Pandu. And I'm a lecturer from Faculty of Art and Design, Universitas Blas Mara, and one of the of Christian Cultural Laboratory. Firstly, uh, I would like to uh, welcome all of our participants, lecturers, students to this uh, Design Culture Talk Series 2 webinar. And previously, last week, uh, we had uh, three interesting speakers, Yosang, Yosensei, from academician, uh, Professor Takaki Bando from Musashino Art University, Dr. Romila Mohan from New York University, and also uh, Dr. Lira Anindita, <laughs> one of our college in uh, design bunka, uh, which uh, we, we is right now uh, work as lecturer also in Universitas 11 Maret. Uh, we had a very interesting discussion related to the ecology, uh, culture, and the foundation of how uh, research in design culture uh, laboratory. And actually, uh, for students, uh, you can see the first part of webinar in YouTube of Faculty of Art and Design UNS. You can search it on YouTube with keywords FSRDUNS, and you can easily find the, the first session of the webinar, uh, Design Culture webinar series. Uh, design culture is uh, basically an approach of how we designing living through analyzing indigenous uh, potential and working together with them and designing together with local community as a facilitator, as designer, as a facilitator uh, to develop a project that bring a local wisdom back to our life. So I think that is the, a glimpse information that I can share to you about design culture. Probably uh, Hyo Sensei will adding another information about our laboratory letter. But uh, before we start the webinar any further, I would like to invite uh, Pak Ambar, Dr. Ambar, Ambar Mulyono, uh, as uh, head of uh, interior design uh, major. Uh, to give an opening speech, probably short opening speech for this webinar. Yeah, uh, Dr. Amber, please, the time is yours for giving the opening speech. Hi, thank you for the time. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, firstly, I want to thank you to Sensei Feng Tian Wei. Your name is very difficult to be spelled. Yu uh, <laughs> Sang, yeah. I, uh, we, uh, we say your, your name as Yu Sang. Uh, today we have a very interesting speech about uh, social responsibility for designer. I think it's, it's, it will be a uh, important uh, talk about uh, how should designer uh, do their act uh, in creating a product or other thing that uh, to solve uh, problems in our uh, society. Uh, and secondly, I want to thank you also uh, for the audience uh, who have the time to join with us to do this uh, webinar. I, I hope this uh, webinar will be very useful for our knowledge uh, increasement. And today uh, we have a very special uh, lecture from Taiwan. Thank you very much, Yu Sang, once again. And I hope a student and other uh, audience uh, ask a question that will make a good discussion and have improved our knowledge about uh, culture and design. So maybe we can uh, sharing or uh, sharing our knowledge or maybe some in the future, as what Pandu Shang said, uh, mentioned in uh, recently about uh, relationship or probably uh, join about research about culture and design. There is a very 
important thing uh, to do in our uh, field of study. So I think uh, that is from me as a opening. Thank you very much again for Kyosang and all audience. Uh, I give the time back to Pandu. Thank you, Pandu. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Ambar, for the opening speech. I think we have to emphasize the words that in the future we uh, are possible to create a joint research development at <laughs> uh, in, in Indonesia or in Taiwan. I think that's uh, our next discussion. Okay, uh, next, uh, I would like to share our uh, rundown for this webinar. Uh, overall, we have uh, around one hour, yeah, uh, that divided by 45, 45 minutes, around 45 minutes for presentation and 10 to five minutes for discussion. And if you have any questions, please write down in chat box or you can verbally ask uh, questions in discussion sessions later. And it is free whether you use English or Indonesian language. We will help you to communicate commu communicate with uh, your sensei. Before we start the presentation from our honorable speaker, your sensei, I would like to share a glimpse information about Dr. Feng Tianwei, or Dr. Feng, or your sensei. You can call him your sensei or Dr. Feng. Uh, Dr. Feng is actually uh, our college, yeah? Dr. Ambar and Dr. Rira College, when we took doctoral degree in Design Culture Laboratory, Chiba University. He has a basic education in architecture design in his bachelor and master degree in Fengxia University and Chongyuan University, Taiwan. Uh, we experienced we participating in many design culture project in Japan to get in Japan together, uh, your sensei, such as developing community in Arukitamura and Komatsuji project or a project of reintroducing the values behind the old uh, temple in Chiba and traditional rice planting activities in Itsumi, Chiba with Suzuki sensei. Uh, after graduated from Chibadai or Chiba University, uh, Hyo Sensei uh, start his career as government official in Taiwan in Central Government of, uh, Foundation of Akka. He also become a lecturer in Hung Kwang University, Department of Culture and Creative Industries. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Feng or Hyo Sensei uh, explained before Hakka is a language group consisting of Hakka dialects uh, spoken in Taiwan, and they have many valuable uh, cultural heritage as uh, previously shown by Hyo Sensei in our technical meeting before. Uh, I, I think that's why the government creates this foundation. And Hyo Sensei, I think uh, he will inform you more detail about this group characteristic about Hakka. One of his job tasks in this foundation is planning art festival, inviting uh, local and foreign artists to reside and collaboration, creating artworks together. Like in 2023, right, Hyo Sensei. Uh, Hyo Sensei will create a collaboration program with artists in Taiwan. I think uh, this is interesting because the government in Taiwan, especially Hakka region, understand the importance of the position of art and design in the preservation of local culture. Uh, in today's opportunity, I think he will give us lecture with him, social responsibility for a designer. In this presentation, Dr. Fang will show us how he works as community development designer through government programs or uh, university projects. I think that's it for the introduction. I would like to again to remind our audience to write down questions for your sensei in chat box or if you have any question or verbally in, in uh, discussion session later on. Okay, without any further delay, next I would like to invite Dr. Feng Tianwei or Dr. Feng or Yo Sensei, uh, to start the presentation, offer to you, Dr. Fine. Uh, 
Um, okay, can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Okay, today the topic is social responsibility for designer. It's my, um, actually it's my uh, uh, experience for, for uh, while I am a, a master student, uh, failed to work in a Hakka village and uh, doing something uh, design work. So actually not design works, but community empowering uh, uh, process in the village. Okay, uh, this is a uh, map of Taiwan, uh, where I uh, do, uh, do my research is in uh, Taoyuan City, it's the northern part of Taiwan, and uh, the village is in uh, Long Tan Township. So um, the old street was uh, Preserved because what? Because of the it is very near the dam. So uh, the government, in order to preserve the, the clean water, so they was abandoned to be uh, developed about 50 years ago. Uh, uh, yes, 50 years ago. And uh, the red, the red circle is the uh, nuclear. You see the, you can see the uh, map. Is in, in Hawaii because it's a military uh, area. In, the, in about uh, 60 years ago, um, this area was uh, tended to uh, be a laboratory of a uh, nuclear uh, weapon or something. So, so these two uh, factors water reservoir. And nuclear uh, military area. So the village was uh, abandoned to do any, anything uh, developed. So the old street was lived like this. Some, have, some uh, new de development still happened, but the old street is here. A hundred years ago, the village was uh, a ferry for exporting the tea, rice, and uh, camphor to the uh, uh, Taipei City, the, the uh, capital of Taiwan. So uh, this, this, this old street, a lot of grocery store and the hotel here. But uh, now the, uh, the, the car, the transportation is uh, great, uh, has a great change. So, um, the ferry was not more, no more uh, used. So only the old streets left. And the, the uh, was abandoned to be uh, developed. So it's looked like uh, 50 years ago. So if you find uh, the, the old, old photo, you can see that about 40 years ago, it, the, the whole street looks like this. So all, fo uh, all photo is very important materials for researcher um, to find out the, um, the old time, how people living, how people are uh, doing their uh, works. So uh, this is a little bit, uh, it's a, a drama, a drama uh, every year. The, Worshipping uh, the village as a drama. So uh, in that time, uh, no internet, no television. So uh, this kind of drama becomes the, the most important entertainment every year, every once every year. <laughs> so a lot of people uh, was gathered together in front of the temple and waiting to the drama. So that's the clock. They're waiting for the drama to start. To be started. So um, there's still a lot of uh, 
now now go uh, historical uh, buildings like a like a bridge um, this kind of uh, right right field but I was uh, first time uh, 20 years ago I was first time uh, when uh, meet the village the first time of the village is uh, uh, worshiping worshiping in front of the, the square of the temple and the decorated car is the uh, it's this kind of it's the Buddha but at that time uh, although uh, the local people is not so rich but they will uh, accumulate their money for for uh, maybe uh, five years once turns uh, rotation so um, about five years will be uh, once have to uh, contribute the, the their pick to the to the so uh, before worship this looks like in this and just uh just killing pigs uh in front of the their house and uh after the, the worshiping, the gold medal from guests or uh, friends. This is gold medal to celebrate. Okay, in the night, the night uh, uh, in the night of the worshiping day, you see the um, lot of store. Okay. When you use a drone to, to view the whole street, this is a black, black this is a temple and the street, the square and the street. You see, you can see now the whole street still remains, but the, the, the road was really changed because of the, uh, the rain, but of course, uh, water leaking, so the roof was really changed. And some tall buildings. Okay. Um, in the in the old days, about twenty years ago, this uh, dam. But but some people uh, uh, carries the garbage to the to this place. And uh, uh, they uh, expected expected a lot of stones to be a uh, material for uh, buildings and leave the garbage here. <laughs> so and now it changes to be a, a like a park, natural park here. But it really took a lot of a long time, about twenty years. Yes. The daily life is really um, interesting mm -hmm. when they have uh, 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 some people uh, get married in the, the ceremony, they will cook in front of the, the old street and the pig before they worshiping, uh, they, they put pigs in front of the, the house. Okay, but um, Although the, the daily living is really uh, interesting, still interesting in the old street, but the regulation and the local people keeps move out. The only historical remains. And now this also uh, has great changes because of designer. So I will talk about later. So, um, yeah, maybe 20 years ago, you still see a lot of uh, old buildings, historical street. Uh, but it keeps collapsed. And uh, this is the uh, a small uh, factory for remain uh, to refine the rice. At that time, uh, still a lot of interesting things left. The grocery store, 
and uh, but, but the house keeps collect because no uh, maybe some nobody living living there so um the house keeps clubs and then they use the, the wood as a burning material and 20 years ago i, I went to this uh, village and I started to become a small workshop and the kids in the, in the night time the kids uh, came to the workshop the reading and uh, they uh, use computers. Uh, but by uh, that time, I was uh, still uh, concentrated on my study, my research, because I'm an architecture student. So I think about only our profession still that time. Uh, I still uh, concentrate for uh, how to keep the old streets, how to uh, preserve the old houses, the street, uh, the storehouses, how to keep the facade. So I uh, draw a lot of pictures and uh, make some uh, models to communicate with uh, local residents. Uh, so. But local people, um, let's say that I, I don't have money. Your your model, your uh, drawing is really uh, nice, but we don't have money to build that that kind of beautiful house. Uh, local people care about it. But that kind of uh, architecture profession or uh, what the design. Really think they care about only daily life. So, um, so um, uh, which the uh, way of communicate with people? We we build a model and just talk about uh, old time stories. What the the, the name of the place? How the name, how the place was called this name. So um, that really developed, uh, especially the seeds, the rabbits, the seeds, this place was what, 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 uh, and the, the story was. Uh, and they uh, described the, uh, the old time. This was a, a really uh, street, uh, I would say that, a really. Uh, Prosperity Street, the old time. And their kids keep drawing the beautiful village where they like most. So uh, we also, uh, before I cannot find a way for my research, uh, that kind of parents uh, for finding the things of our village really uh, helps. The kids help. Uh, the the uh, senior, uh, senior high school kids helps the elementary school kids to realize the history of uh, local. And the old people also talk, uh, telling a story about his grocery store to the kids. This is also that. The old people talking about the, the old building, the stories of the old buildings to the kids. This also. So, um, um, I changed the viewpoint of myself from profession designer to uh, resident uh, and thinking about the exact. So, the kids and the female community really changed the atmosphere of the village. They started to uh, think how to improve our environment and uh, uh, let the street, let the beautiful street can uh, last. So, uh, the aged photo uh, still. Uh, 
I, I still, uh, at the time, I still uh, keep re uh, collect all the age photos. That really tell me stories. And I made a map, drawing pictures, that uh, old stories, old photos, uh, link with the uh, map. And the, and the, and the female in the village discuss. They like cooking, so they discuss the set meal to reflect local skill, cooking skill, and uh, uh, local vegetables. So the uh, the set meal was really successful in the initial uh, some uh, community events, just like like this. They started to uh, to have some uh, truck program in the uh, weekend and uh, make local people stick together. Uh, we, uh, in that time, uh, maybe 20 years ago, um, young generation maybe not, not, not know that. Uh, now, uh, in 20 years ago, we don't have uh, internet, we don't have uh, like uh, line, and we don't have uh, like Facebook. So, we this only we have to spread our information using like this, like a newspaper. So, uh, we also um, doing this like a newspaper to spread our uh, information to the community. Let the local people know what happens and what will happen in our community. So, um, uh, the, the treasure. The treasure uh, really uh, spread. So the, uh, uh, the TV company started to uh, record this. So uh, those uh, senior citizens, they uh, maybe ten years ago they think, uh, my, my house is really old, it's really bad, the leaks and the collapse." But after several years of effort. They gradually uh, realized that the old house, their old groceries, is a treasure of the community. So uh, not only that, um, local people uh, try to find out the problems, the issues of space in their village. Um, in this photo maybe 20 years ago, finally the young girl becomes the leader of the village. They participate in our government voting and to become a village chief. So at that time they uh, write down the problems and the issues of this village, the front surroundings, and the kids, what they like, what they really want to preserve is the natural uh, water and the natural uh, surroundings, mm -hmm. the, the uh, birds. So we just um, brief that in, 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 uh, to our government and some, something really happens. And some of the residents try to uh, sell their products. <laughs> but even no visitors. So it's like uh, just uh, a chance. But there were, there, uh, even no visitors there, they were happy to try to sell some good things of their uh, agricultural products. So uh, they started to uh, open uh, uh, like a cafe and some uh, like a straw art and the plants, a lot of flowers when uh, the crop is harvested. 
and the young generations came to the old street. Okay. The, uh, but now the, the uh, traditional uh, ways of worshiping is really changed. So um, you can see only three, 20 years ago, a lot of peaks, but now uh, maybe three peaks only. Because the, the, because the issue is also, uh, for, uh, how to say that, uh, in Taiwan, uh, there's still a lot of people uh, not agree with uh, killing pigs or uh, worshiping. So, um, my research in Japan still the uh, with local wisdom of Chika in Taiwan. So like this, yeah, that happens in Indonesia. When they are uh, washing clothes, they use a, a wood stick to crunch the clothes like this. Okay, this is a story. It's all also it's, it happens in the uh, not not that village, but in the neighbor village. Uh, doesn't really. Um, I think it's the issue for our designer today. Uh huh. Maybe a uh, pen. Uh, this is the photo of uh, twenty years ago. This is a big banyan tree and the old people washing here. Wash clothes here. This old house. Okay, but the tree. The tree was cut like this. You know why? Because uh, they're afraid of when typhoon comes, the tree will fall, will fall down and uh, hurt the, the factory. Oh, we hurt the factory or uh, the, the old house. So they, they, once they have uh, the budget, uh -huh. it's a uh, rare to have that kind of budget. So while they get the money, they think, oh, uh, it's rare. Uh, it's uh, maybe five years, one, one, one time for the budget to cut the tree. So they just cut, cut more. So like this, the band view become like this. And when they washing, it's too hot. The weather in Taiwan is like uh, Indonesia. It's very hot, so they they get a a, a big big umbrella here to make shadow. Okay, and half year passed when I back to the the, the washing place. You can see that the band tree really. <laughs> so uh, struggle and the effort to, to keep living. So it grows like this, and uh, the umbrella changes like this now because of the wind, strong wind. So it ties the umbrella onto a heavy stone, concrete. Okay. But after five years, it's like this, because they can't wait the tree grows up. So the designer and the maybe uh, local people think, ah, we are, this is good things. This is a good pavilion. And maybe two tourists will like willing to see like this. So after five years, it changes. And they use concrete and steel plate to wrap the old house. And then they feel that's boring. So local people find a painter to paint oil paint like this. 
and uh, uh, write down a, a point like this. Is that better? <laughs> so uh, maybe 10 years ago, like this. And after 10 years, like this. You can see the change. And that's, that's it's really progress. It's really uh, improved or really kind of development. So I, I think this happens also in Indonesia. So like this. Uh, people really like the tree. So um, if, if the tree ties up a red ribbon, it means it uh, becomes a god, god or tree god. So when the, the local people um, they don't want the tree be cut, so they want they tie up the, the red ribbons. Notice that oh, that's is uh, the, the the tree is already a god. Do not cut randomly. So like this. And this is another uh, washing place. So um, in Taiwan, uh, the washing place, uh, this is the, how to say that? The, this, the, the clean water sprouts here. So it's a clean, clean water here. And when, when people use the water to wash, the, Got, become dirty, the water uh, leaks out here. So, um, like a uh, food, vegetable, they wash here. And when they deal with meat or fish, uh, the blood or some uh, oil, so they wash that in the uh, in this place. So this means up. This means down. The water, clean water, from up and flow out down. Although, although this washing place seems like a, a, just a pound, but still up and down. The, the concept of up and down still there. So uh, this is in Japan. Maybe uh, this is different totally different shapes, but the philosophy uh, people uh, respect what is the same philosophy. This is God and the water for drinking and for washing food. And this is for washing other things. So it's up and down. The philosophy almost the same in different countries, in different shapes, but the concept is the same. Okay, but during that time, I also um, draw up some tools. The stick, the wood stick used to washing clothes. And this is for uh, uh, get water. Now we use uh, uh, plastic shovels, but, but in the ancient we use this kind of. Now this is for uh, sharpen the, the knife, the stone for sharpen the knife. But also we can see that in, the, in, in near the water. So also, okay, that's what I'm talk, talking about. Uh, this is another trap strategy, uh, um, like a, a washing place. Uh, in 2008, uh, the, meal, the meal in front of the ferry. Uh, the, this, the meal is also the, to refine the rice. So uh, it remains about, for a long, long time. But the, in one, in two thousand eighteen, um, 
the designer changed the shape like this. So um, it's another strategy. And uh, let's see here the ferry. Uh, the ferry, uh, the, the old ferry, uh, this is a symbol of the old ferry, it's a tree. But now it changed because of them. 50 years ago, the thing, the, the, the Shimon Dam was set up, set up, built up. So, uh, so no, no more ferry, no more uh, water transportation. Uh, so it's only, we can see that the symbol is a uh, ferry. But uh, for uh, these years, in Taiwan also happens like that. You see the uh, uh, white frame um, appears in a lot of plates the, to, to show that you can uh, use your IG, use your Facebook, use your line to check you've been here. So I, sometimes I, 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 re, I didn't really know that why the, we need this to, to, to let tourists know we have to take picture here, take photo here. Uh -huh. So it's interesting, but I still cannot know that very clear. It's not like this, but we have to use this. Or I am old fashioned people, so I can not realize what happened to this frame. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. We uh, did conduct some uh, art festival in this village, a romantic river. Mm -hmm. this, this village is also uh, a lot of Hakka, uh, Hakka group village uh, is along the road street, it's a road. So uh, we conduct, we also conduct this festival in the village. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, dye, uh, natural dye, and uh, this means uh, use uh, like a, a tree to uh, imply that it's the start from, uh, it's the start of uh, root tree. Uh -huh. uh, so when this is the models which so I've made before I go to Japan, uh, so it's handmade like this model. So uh, after we, uh, Dr. Pandu knows that uh, our laboratory uh, uses uh, also like uh, traditional culture and uh, old ob object. So we use three D scanner to uh, record the old things. This is the old temple, small, small temple in the village. So after we scan and print it, 3D print it. This is the traditional ways of uh, building up a, a fence like this. It's all, always uh, one stone surrounded with six stone. So we we are uh, doing this scanning and uh, print this like a material for uh, pitching to uh, elementary school students. Yes, you can see this. This is also a water washing place. The stone is very very beautiful, and also this way this method you can see that pick anyone. Stone and one, two, three, four, five, six, six surrounded. So it's an interesting find. Findings. <laughs> now this is a, just a, a whip, like a, a board for adjusting uh, the what the level of the water fish or what. Okay, we also scan this three D scanning like uh, this board and 
this well is uh, normal use, but it's still living. They live, live the remains here. So it's very, uh, I have to, in my, in my uh, eyes, it's a very beautiful mix. So we recorded that. And this is well in the, under the, the drum, drum, the base of the bar. And the stair, so very used the material stone from river. So we changed that into uh, like this key holders made by silver and the bronze. And this is a key holder with a 3D printing in white. And this is the materials for kids. While we are uh, uh, tour guide after the washing place, we let kids have a uh, like this. They can paint the different colors as they wish. Okay, this is for the. Uh, for the visually impaired people, uh, it's also uh, like a Buddha and the temple and the traditional ways of a uh, temple, three stone based temple, the Hakka, Hakka style of temple. So uh, that visually impaired people can touch and then realize the culture. That's the that's the art festival that year. So different the invited invited different countries from Japan, Korea, Spain. Uh, because I in two thousand the the coronavirus uh, COVID nineteen also spread Taiwan. So still. A uh, foreign artists came to this village and they did some uh, landscape art. Yes. They dragged the bar the case to uh, through the chopsticks, create a, a thorn, use throw. Explain the stroke and how to do uh, handicraft art with stroke. The Japan come from Japan, the artist. And they did this with bamboo. And this is also uh, the, the red, uh, the, the breach, the slide of before. But now it's a uh, famous. Um, art. The artists are doing some uh, water spray, and you can see rainbow in the afternoon because the, the bridge, the bridge means red bridge, like a rainbow bridge. So they, they uh, so the artists do a they create uh, this spray water spray to see the rainbow, and you can see the rainbow on the rainbow bridge. The memory, it's called the memory of the house. So they collect a lot of window and they made together with local people, write down their memory with, with their house to create art. Okay, this is the dying with the natural. Uh, leaves in this village. Okay, this is what I uh, share with you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
you sensei for your insightful presentation uh okay right now i can see that we have a question and we try to to go through every question as much as we can and thank you for uh, uh, uh your, your sensei for giving us a really comprehensive overview of the social responsibility of a decider through your uh, projects and please let me conclude your presentation probably i will try to uh, explain it to my students in bahasa is it okay <laughs> yeah uh, jadi uh, tadi uh, dr feng menjelaskan uh, tentang beberapa project yang beliau lakukan ya di di taiwan gitu dari proyek-proyek pemerintahan Uh, foundation of Aka. Jadi uh, pada dasarnya apa namanya uh, beliau memulai proyek tersebut dengan pemetaan bersama masyarakat lokal melihat potensi-potensi di daerah Aka ya uh, mencatat ya lalu juga meminta engaging masyarakat lokal untuk uh, ikut berperan serta. dan uh, menulis kira-kira problem apa, potensi apa, tadi seperti ada itu ya, ada tulisan-tulisan yang uh, draft-draft yang dicatat oleh masyarakat lokal tersebut. Dan dari situ ternyata uh, proses demi proses masyarakat lokal tersebut juga akhirnya dengan melihat potensi tersebut jadi tumbuh ya rasa bahwa ternyata di wilayah mereka tuh memiliki banyak potensi untuk dikembangkan. Walaupun di awal struggle-nya ya tadi seperti Dr. Feng sampaikan ya perjuangannya cukup berat seperti membuat uh, obat-obatan atau uh, apa tadi yang dijual di dalam botol itu masih uh, sepi peminat ya tetapi uh, dengan uh, usaha dari uh, tim dari Dr. Feng dan juga dari pemerintah dukungan uh, program tetap bisa dilanjutkan. Seperti uh, contohnya adalah bagaimana tadi uh, ketika kita melihat sebuah pohon dan ada tempat untuk mencuci, itu ditebang ya, karena memang ada typhoon yang masyarakat lokal mem- memutuskan untuk ditebang. Tetapi di situ ada uh, semacam uh, proses desain yang uh, dilakukan atau didorong agar masyarakat lokal itu sendiri bisa menjadi decision maker. Jadi dalam proses desain tersebut masyarakat lokal awalnya membuat payung ya agar teduh ketika mencuci lalu juga akhirnya eh uh, ya dengan dukungan pemerintah ya dengan ide dari masyarakat lokal membuat semacam dari kayu ya uh, area agar tidak tidak uh, panas dan selanjutnya ternyata masih rada-rada boring ya dengan kayu suasananya. Nah, ditambahkan lagi dengan lukisan Uh, apa ya scenery atau pemandangan dari area tersebut ya tadi ada air terjun dan lain-lain dan membuat suasananya jadi uh, tidak boring jadi uh, itu sebenarnya contoh dari bagaimana uh, community driven design jadi bagaimana kita memphasize masyarakat lokal sebagai desainer dan memposisikan kita sebagai facilitator Jadi eh, contoh lain juga eh, ketika tracer itu sudah ada juga dilakukan oleh Dr. Feng dengan membuat eh, apa ya mengundang artis dari luar untuk datang ke area HK dan membuat kolaborasi karya seni dengan eh, memanfaatkan values ya yang sudah tercatat di dalam tracer map tersebut dan dari values itu akhirnya bisa dikembangkan tanpa menghilangkan si esensi dari objek-objek yang menjadi heritage seperti tadi Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow Bridge eh, dari namanya kan sudah pelangi ya, jadi tetap memanfaatkan values dan nama tersebut untuk eh, dari seniman berinisiasi untuk membuat semacam air ya, air disemprotkan ke atas sehingga tetap bisa melihat bahkan bisa melihat rainbow beneran ya di, di Rainbow Bridge tersebut. Jadi saya kira itu ya um, apa namanya uh, secara garis besar apa yang dilakukan oleh Dr. Hyo uh, Hyo Sensei 
dalam melakukan uh, dalam mengimplementasikan desain culture di project beliau di, di HK ya HK community. Oke, okay. and also I would like to <laughs> emphasize to students that all photos like uh, Hyo Sensei explained before is very essential. Also is very important for our research to understand objectively yeah, to understand objectively the situation in the past like uh, in Indonesia actually we have also a lot of photos uh, you sensei that documented by um, uh, 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 colonialism Netherland colonialism and and keep and and for students you can uh, try to find it in KLTV uh, the link for you can see a lot of pictures there and for i think it is important for you from textile department or uh, uh, another department that want to learn about uh, our history in the past i think it's very important to, to see that all all pictures and then uh, Probably uh, right now I would like uh, there is already one uh, two questions uh, for Yo Sensei. Uh, the first one is from Valen. Uh, Valen is from textile department, yeah, Valen, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first question from Valen is uh, actually from the existing situation in the past described by by uh, Rio Sensei, uh, and his tema changed what was originally shabby, dirty, and abandoned into something aesthetic, beautiful, and artistically valuable. Uh, during the design on end production process, what the obstacles experience for you and your local community? I think that is the first question. And the second question from him is, if so, how to solve the, 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 the problem? And what is the attitude? What is the response of the surrounding community towards change in the, 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 the design process, the, the project or layout design. I think that's the first and uh, the second question. Uh, your sensei, you can ask, uh, you can answer it uh, straightly right now. I'm sorry, uh, your sensei, okay. Explain more uh, for the first question. First question. The added change is very, uh, how to say that uh, when we confront, uh, we, we, we go to, uh, how to say that, when we take a uh, uh, project or a, a mission for for a design, uh, we have had to uh, face confront uh, local residents and uh, the the people who really use them. I think for a designer, you you have to uh, truly face them, truly face the actual actual situation, actual people, uh, you have to face the truth. If you are afraid of uh, the, the real things, the real topic and the real problem, the design is, uh, how to say that, the design is not real. So the, the second, I think it's Yes. But the first question, uh, I'm not very clear. Dr. Pandu can repeat or uh, describe the problem. What, the, the second question? 
first question. Oh, first question. Okay. The first question I will uh, repeat once again. Um, okay. Uh, during. Uh, okay. During the design and the production process, what what actually are the obstacles experience for you and team and the local community? I think uh, the question is emphasizing in in the emphasize in, in the obstacles yeah, and in your projects. Your sensei, I'm sorry, the microphone is not activated yet. Okay, uh, for my experience for uh, this process, um, uh, uh, because maybe you are a designer of like uh, 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 if, you, if your skill is drawing and or you is an architect. Uh, I think forget your forget uh, suspend your uh, profession and get into the crowd. Get in, get with people uh, is very important. Uh, once you have only one uh, tool, like uh, if you uh, the people say that uh, if you have a hammer, you only have a hammer. You will see all of problems as a nail. That means uh, if you, for me, I'm architecture student, so I firstly, I get into the community uh, and I see only the architecture or the problem of building or the issue of uh, how to preserve the old house. Uh, sometimes we have to just suspend or forget our profession and uh, see broadly, more widely, more broadly, see the issue or see the real problem. Um, it will be more free and uh, you can much more creative to uh, find other ways to develop your design. I think it's the, my experience. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, your sensei. I think we have to move to the second question. Uh, it, I think it is more and more, more and more interesting discussion session for us, uh, your sensei. Uh, the question is very interesting here, I received. The second one is from uh, Seisha. Seisha uh, is from, from Semarang. Yeah? Seisha is my student from, from Semarang, the central Java. And his question, uh, her question is in developing a design culture yeah, that performed by Yo Sensei and his team, what is uh, the difficulties related to convincing the public, how to convince the public? To, to follow or to collaborate together to improve the local community. And the second question is, do we as students have the potential to develop a, a design culture project without support from government? <laughs> so without any support from government, government is it possible to, to develop community? I think that's the, another question, Yosan. Uh, the first question is um, how to fix the public. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a very uh, long-term problem or long-term issue uh, for this. For for, for this, it's my experience in this case, it spent about twenty years. Um, Maybe for designer, we, we really want to design uh, 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 good things or uh, beautiful things. But to the residents or local people, they um, 
most of the people they want to uh, have a better life. They want to earn money. Uh, I think it's inevitable this kind of uh, problem or this kind of uh, opinion from local people is inevitable. So um, for designer, uh, when you get into crowd, uh, face the public. You have to know what they really cares, what they really cares, and uh, how to make connection with uh, they really care, what they really care, and what you want to do, and make them connected. It will be easier for you to make a successful design. Uh, for for this example. When they make much, they really know that the house, a lot of people to this village to see the old buildings and they, they consider, they, they eat things, they have a coffee, they buy uh, agriculture products because they, the, the tourists come to the old streets to see the old building. So naturally, uh, the, the old building was preserved. I think it's uh, what they really care is really uh, important. Uh -huh. uh, another one is another one is like uh, the government uh, things. Uh, yeah, support. It, can we create a project without any support from government, like community yeah. development? Yes, so um, in Taiwan, a um, lot of uh, this kind of project is started from uh, masters, master students to go to a, a village, started to research, and uh, uh, in the, firstly, uh, they were supported by the laboratory. Just, just like in Japan, right? <laughs> uh, uh, some uh, try uh, products try try not need so lot of money, so it's supported by uh, our laboratory, and uh, finally it becomes a, a important issue, and uh, local government will see this kind of project is a is a, a, a opportunity so they invested money to to, to doing like this project but sometimes you know that you see the, the, the presentation so sometimes uh, the wrong investments also happens right they, they destroy the, all the things, the beautiful sceneries, uh, just build up some. Uh, I thought those are ugly things, but local people think it's a, a progress, it's a new thing, it's a beautiful uh, artificial things. So, but so I, I guess, um, I, I, to my opinion, uh, it's, if it's uh, a small or Initial program supported by laboratory. It's it's much more than you know the the, the government's invested with a, a great amount of granting aid, a lot of money. So they change this correctly, and uh, cannot you if they, they, uh, the wrong things happen, it cannot be undo right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Yo Sensei. I think for for Sesa, uh, if you have uh, a community or like uh, uh, um, a local uh, or, or partners that want to develop a local community or region, you can also uh, could try. 
to to short company social responsibility in Indonesia. Uh, Yo Sensei. So they the private sectors, I think they also have uh, several amount of money to to spend to 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 give like a positive image for them like in social and environment uh, a project or campaign. Yeah, I think you can try to 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 using that kind of approach, uh, Cesar. Yeah, okay. Uh, right now we are moving to the third question, Yo Sensei. It's from Fatin, from Aceh. Aceh is the, 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 the western part of Indonesian archipelago. <laughs> so very far from, from here, from my place. And Fatin is uh, from architecture department in, in Aceh region. Uh, the question, I will try to simplify the, the, the question. When we, when we change or renovate the existing design or heritage, like you did, your sensei, in, in Hakka region, how to keep the existing culture and values from being extincted? Sometimes architects uh, are like want to create uh, the the heritage structures or the shapes right, into uh, a modern modern shape of building. So I think uh, you uh, your sensei has the same field architecture. You can try to answer it correctly. I think it's the process of, of learning. I think it's the process of learning. Uh, how to say that? The, the, the designer has to learn about the local wisdom and the local people because they see they, they living in the village. So they thought everything is um, tedious. Everything is uh, not so beautiful. I think it's uh, kind of certain, but we have to change that. We have to change that. We, for designers, you have to let let local people know the what. What the treasure is, maybe the beautiful scenery of the village, maybe the traditional way of uh, they made artificial things, handicrafts, this treasure is the best. You have to let them know that, or they, they won't carry them. So, this is the most important, and we have to learn. We have to learn the local wisdom, and we have to uh, learn from local people, so that we will, we will know. Uh, oh, this things uh, happened because of what the reason. So we have to learn. The, the designer always have to learn from local wisdom from local people. And local people, by, by this method, uh, designers uh, convey some um, information to the local people. Oh, your uh, handicraft is very, very beautiful. You, the treasure of your village. So I think this uh, uh, process of learning, we learn from local people. Local people learn uh, what their treasure is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is it clear, uh, Fatin? Yes. Clear. Okay. Thank you, Fatin. Okay. The next one is from. Uh, Ambar Sensei, <laughs> Ambar Sensei, would you like to 
uh, 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 verbally uh, give a question to Dr. Feng or I, I, I help it to, to ask the questions. Um, but Okay, uh, the question from Ambar Sensei is uh, he asked about the basic information about Hakka. Uh, could you explain the meaning of Hakka? <laughs> what is Hakka actually? And then is it any expression on cultural artifacts related to the meaning of Hakka? I think that's the question from Ambar Sensei for Dr. Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, the Hakka group is from uh, mainland China and uh, always immigration from the uh, middle part of China and to the uh, 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 coast, west, uh, east coast of China and then immigration to uh, Hong Kong and Taiwan and Japan. Some of people uh, immigrate to uh, Indonesia and uh, uh, Malaysia. So uh, uh, even Thai, Thailand, So uh, it's the most is uh, artificial things like uh, uh, in, in the they made uh, food they made the food or uh, they preserve uh, agriculture that can be long lasting because they always immigration so they can uh, bring that food uh, easily. So uh, food is a very important feature in Taiwan for uh, to tell that ah oh, this is a Hakka group. Yes. Uh, and uh, the language is totally different. It's Taiwan, Taiwanese, and the Chinese Mandarin. So food and the language is the most. Uh -huh. Okay. So food and, and language is the, the main differentiation yeah, between Hakka community and the others in Taiwan. Uh, okay, uh, next one. I think I would like to ask you a question, uh, Dr. Feng, as the, the closing questions. Uh, I saw from your pictures, uh, the, the image before, that the situation around the temple in Taiwan is very lively. Uh, and in the past, it, it looks like Matsuri in Japan. Yeah, very lively, and, and a lot of people comes to celebrate the, the day. And then, is it still performed until now? Hyosang, that kind of situation now. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what I when when I back to Taiwan for uh, two uh, almost. Two years, and the with my kids, I thought and a little bit afraid of that. Uh, uh, like uh, I, I think that also happens in Indonesia. Uh, now the kids uh, always use uh, smartphone, right? That that also. The games, and they get information, and all the the entertainment only use a smartphone. I think it's a, a really uh, a little bit of freedom. That. The actual actual life of human is gradually uh, disappears, and uh, you know, condensed you know, in only a, a smartphone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. <laughs> I agree with that, that humans right now is not not looking, not look like humans. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, actually, uh, um, I'm COVID nineteen curious. Uh, um, everything will change. The kids can be uh, afraid of kids going out. It's crowded, so a um, lot of parents use smartphone and even traditional media like the newspaper and uh, TV news, television news is no more the the the, the, the situation like ten years ago. I think. Yeah, uh, my another question is, uh, I, I want to know about your opinion, Hyo Sensei, because in Indonesia, our problem is about young generation. Uh, most of them uh, have no interest in local culture. Like in our project in farming community, no young generation work with us, local young generation. Uh, even we try to speak Speak, spoke with them, uh, there is no, no result of that. So is there any opinions for you to, to handle the situation, to tackle the situation, to improve young generation interest for our, our local culture? Um, I think uh, that also happens in Japan and Taiwan, but uh, in Japan or in Taiwan, the, the, to cultivate or educate the, the young generation, uh, the value of handicraft is very important. Uh, how to let the, the young generation know the, you know, uh, for clubs, for clubs, if it's a uh, uh, like a fast, fast fashion. Fast fashion is different from a uh, handmade costume. Uh -huh. So, uh, young generation should know that the value of custom traditional skills you know, that uh, we made a, 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 a close. I think this is different in costume and uh, fast fashion. Fast fashion or fashion is uh, we. The products in the factory with greater uh, large amount that fast fashion. For this, is I think uh, the, the young generation should know that. If they don't know that, they say, ah, the, the, the t shirt is very thick and the clothes is very expensive, so I don't want to buy that. I want to buy the cheap. The, the difference. By education. So uh, even handicraft is also the same. They have to know the value. Uh, they have no uh, art. What is the really a beautiful thing? So I think uh, we we uh, take a lot of time to do the art festival to. To invoke, not invoke, to promote, to learn together with local people. Uh, what is the the beauty of handmade? What uh, the beauty of art? So I think it's the only way to let young generations to know that what is the really uh, beautiful things with time, with hand. With a scratch, I think. Okay, yeah, that is actually our homework, uh, your sensei as a designer, how to create uh, local culture interest <laughs> to, to young generation. Okay, uh, Dr. Andy raised his hand. Uh, Dr. Andy, please, uh, if you have any opinion or questions. Okay, uh, Dr. Andy, we still have a time. Or, um, discussion? Yeah, it's, it's okay. One, one remaining <laughs> one question. Yeah, this is a quick question. Um, a brilliant presentation of you, and I can see a lot of a very good insights from your presentation. But I, I want to ask about 
the power actually. So mostly in a participatory approach, or when we involve in community, there's a problem with the issue with power. The who have the money usually decide the end uh, decision, the end result. And in the most case, uh, case study that I observed, that the government usually have the money in the development project, in the environment development project, in the public infrastructure project. Mostly the government uh, has the money. And they, uh, yeah, they decide the, 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 the end result. How you manage the problem? Do you have any issue in your experience in Taiwan? But the end result is not actually uh, decided by the people, but going back to the government who have the money. Or, or your uh, project is individually funded by the people, so you don't have any problem with power. How you keep the balance, the equal power between the government and the people? Uh, that may be the issue here in Indonesia. Thank you for your uh, question. I can hear very clear in Taiwan about the problem. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yes. uh, in, in short, uh, I will ask about the power. So how you uh, addressing the issue of power. Usually, the one who has the money will decide uh, the design and result. And usually, the government, uh, who the part who, who has the money. So, how you balance the, the the process that the people in the end still have power to decide the design, not the government, the one who has the money, or um. If the case in Taiwan, or the project is individually funding, maybe you don't have the problem. But can you, can you give us uh, your excitement about how to control the power in the process? Thank you. The sound was very. Yeah, uh, uh, Dr. Andy asked you about the, how to manage the power from government uh, in terms of like a development project in local community because government, uh, they have money, they have powers, they have a decision about uh, uh, um, creating or designing a project. So sometimes uh, we as a designer already uh, create a development with local community, but uh, all of the design is back again. The, the decision, the decision is back uh, to the, the the stakeholders, external stakeholders, the, the government as the the owners of the money. Your son. So how you how did your opinion about your maybe project? Official in Taiwan about that kind of problem. Taiwan, uh, of people, local people, South, your opinion, your idea. Uh, some parts will uh, invest, will, how to say, harvest. <laughs> when you really uh, develop a good idea and with a lot of local people support, uh, the politics will help you to get the money. And uh, actually, they want to win the uh, election. So, if they support this project, it means uh, local people will support when the election, the local people will support this politics, this people. So if they, if the politics want to win the election, they have to know the local people, what the local people support. Not only people, but also they 
have to know that oh, all, all the local people want to uh, develop like that. So politics will try to help local people get money. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the same uh, situation, uh, Dr. Andy in Indonesia. Politics con control everything. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the problem here. <laughs> and because you, know, you realize that you know the, the, the democratic politics here is not well, yeah, it is uh, uh, right now the situation and it's better than the past, but still we have a lot of barriers in political situation to to truly bring a participatory project here in Indonesia. And I think that was uh, the, the, the different situation. With the Taiwan. Okay. Uh, thank you for your question and opinion, Dr. Andy. I think because of the limitation of time, uh, I think uh, uh, I think at that point I will need to bring uh, this wonderful panel to an end. And I would like to thank for Dr. Feng Tianwei, uh, your sensei. For the presentations, and I would like uh, to thank also to many of you participants with your interesting questions and uh, enthusiasm following this webinar today. Uh, me, on behalf of the webinar committee, also would like to apologize uh, for any inconvenience during this webinar. Uh, before we end this session, I would like to take a picture together. Uh, please committee Della, uh, to arrange the photo session and please for all the participants to activate the camera. Della, ada? Ya, ya ada Pak. Ya. Di di Itu kan, diinstruksikan. Baik. Uh, so, there is two slides. So, I'm going to text the picture for sec two row. For the first one, for the first slide. Three, two, one. Once again. Three, two, one. Okay, for the second row, please. Three, two, one. Okay, it's done, sir. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, we hope that we can meet again in another webinar by Design Culture Laboratory and Fakultas, uh, Faculty of Fine Art and Design, Universitas Blas Maret. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, Dr. Feng, see you again at the project or webinar. And goodbye and thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Pandu, and thank you, Dr. Feng. Yeah, thank you, you very much. Okay.